Let's make it pop. Hi, this is Matthew Reinhardt, and today we're going to make a Chinese New Year dragon pop-up card. You'll need a piece of cardstock, a piece of red construction paper, some markers to color with, some double stick tape, some regular tape, and of course, a pair of scissors. First, we're going to take that piece of regular cardstock and we're going to fold it in half. We're going to make a hamburger fold, just like this. And we're going to cut down the middle of the fold that we just made. Just like that. And we're going to get two pieces of white cardstock that are the same size. One of those pieces we're going to use as our actual card. So I'm going to fold it in half. Very nice. That's our card. The extra sheet we're going to fold in half as well. But we're going to cut down the middle where that fold is with our scissors. Sneep, 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 sneep. Now we have two equal size smaller pieces of white cardstock. There's our card. And these are what we're going to use to make some of the pop-up pieces with our scissors. We're going to take one of those small pieces of cardstock and we're going to fold it and make a V-fold, but we're going to align the edges just like that. That's going to be a V-fold. We're going to make a square piece of cardstock. So I'm going to fold it just like that. I'm going to cut off the extra piece using my scissors. Snip, snip, snip. Now this piece is a square. And this piece we're going to use as a V-fold. We're going to tape it down to our card. And that center, we're going to put some tape right along one side here. And then use some more tape. Oops, stuck to my finger. Carefully add the tape to the other side. Now the center fold here, it's important that you align both folds on the piece and with the card, just like so. Make sure it's lined up. Tape it down. Like that. And now we have a moving V-fold. Look at that. Wow. And if you have a little extra space and a little extra tape um, over where it's not taped down, this will help keep our V-fold secure on the base page, just like that. All right. See how it's attached? That is a V-fold. See, it's like a V. Only thing I don't like about this is it's sticking out of our card, so I'm going to use my scissors to snip off that extra piece. Get rid of that. We don't need that. There we go. Now it fits inside the card. Next, I'm going to take the second small piece of cardstock and fold it in half. I'm going to cut down that fold. And again, I'm going to try to make some more squares with one of my smaller pieces. So I align the side just like so, and I fold it just like that. See, when we fold it in half, there, that will make a square. We use our scissors and we'll cut off that extra piece. And we open it as a square. Now I'm going to fold it the opposite way. And what this will do is we'll be able to make two V folds that are exactly the same if we cut down that fold just like that. Now these two V folds are exactly the same size, cut from one square. Now I'm going to go and tape these two V folds in place on our pop. One is going to be placed here and the other one is going to be placed there using the regular tape. Each side of the V of, on each of the V folds, like so. Make sure you don't go over that edge there, but on both sides, don't go over the edge. And then lining it up along that fold, along that fold. See how I did it? That fold and that fold there need to line up, like so. Tape it down. Now, our V, our small V, is working off the large V. It's pretty cool. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to tape it and, 
and make sure that our fold aligns along the other side's fold. But now I'm looking at it and oops, I didn't line up. I want the two V's to be um, at the same height. See how one is shorter than the other? I don't want that. So you can very carefully pull up that other V and line it up at the bottom. See, now the bottom of both of the side V's are at the same height. Now they'll work together really well. Using another scrap of our white cardstock, we're going to cut some little rectangles, kind of like this, this side. Put a small piece of double stick on this part of each of the small V folds on each side. This side and this side. Make sure that your tape doesn't go over the edge. Double stick is really sticky and it'll make a mess if we don't get it just on that part. Now you can put both of those little rectangles we just cut. Put them and now it looks like two arms opening up. Now let's take our red construction paper and let's cut a strip off the very top. We want to make sure that it lines up and it's about the same width as our two arms that we put on our pop-up. Fold it in half that strip. let's make sure it's the right length. It's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna snip off the edges just a little bit with my stick. Now it's folded in half, I'll do the same on the other side. Folding a piece of paper in half really helps us measure out things right. Using two pieces of double stick on the ends of each of our little arms that we've made, I'm gonna place it on both sides at around the same spot. And then I'm also going to use a small piece of regular tape. I'm going to fold this construction paper in half, aligning its fold with the center fold of our pop-up there. See how it's attached just right on that fold? And then I'm going to push down and press it on the ends of each of the arms where the double stick tape is. See, it's attached now. We're going to close the pop-up. See how it found its folds on both sides? Oops, that got stuck a little. It's gonna find the fold. See how that works? So now it, it sort of accordion closes. And there's a little extra cardstock that's peeking out. Let's get rid of it. Now we have a cool sort of banner shape. This is gonna be the body of our dragon. I wanna put a head. Um, on this end here. So using some double stick tape, I'll, I'll add it to this flat area right here. Now I'm gonna put the head, that's gonna be where the head is gonna be of our dragon. Oh, it sticks out, we don't want that. So let's use this pair of scissors. We should cut that off. Now we'll know exactly how much space we have inside to make our dragon head. And we need a tail, a little extra for the tail. Let, let's use some double stick tape and tape down on the other end some extra construction paper. Like that. Cool. Close it shut. Oh, it's sticking out. Let's snip it off. We don't want anyone to know what's inside our pop-up card. And there we go. That's going to be the shape that we can draw our dragon onto. Take another small scrap of red construction paper, this is a small rectangle. Add some double stick tape at the top, like this, on one edge. Then use your scissors and cut four smaller rectangles from that large one. Ooh, make sure it doesn't stick. Make sure it tapes side up when you lay it down on the ground there. You have four little rectangles. Those are gonna be four little legs on the long serpent-like body of a Chinese dragon. There we go. One, two, three, 
four little legs. Cool. Let's make sure that they're in the right place. So we start to see a shape coming together for our dragon. Now it's color time. Oh, you know I love to draw and color. Ooh, he's scaring me a little bit. The beards, my balls. Ooh, lots of scales. Scales all over the place. Lots of red. There he is. Ooh, he's kind of scary. I love his mustache. And using my pair of scissors, I'm going to trim off some of the edges because they're kind of too square. -ish. So just carefully, after you've drawn your dragon, snip off the extra areas around the edges to make him look a little bit more rounded and organic. You don't have to if you don't want to. You know I'm picky, so sometimes I like to do a little extra. And there is our pop-up dragon. Awesome! Let's, let's add a message and maybe draw a little something on the outside. Let's see. Oh, it's the year of the rooster. Cockadoodle-oo! We gotta decorate this up. Chinese New Year is coming, so we gotta make a really good card and make sure there's good luck and fortune to everybody. Cool. Awesome, you did it. That is one cool dragon card. Man, I hope I get one of those. Everybody knows a chicken is good luck. Happy Chinese New Year. Okay, we're done. Awesome work. If you like making this pop and want more, be sure to like and subscribe. This is Matthew Reinhardt saying, keep it popping.